Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video of Apple Topics and in today's video I'm actually recording in a, in a very different thing. Usually I record on my iPad Pro or on my iPhone 6. In today's video I'm recording on a Canon camera which uh, is from 2014. I don't know if it's better quality but it's certainly easier to handle. Uh, so the point here is today I'm going to be showing you how to update to macOS Big Sur on a non-supported Mac. Now I don't recommend you to do this unless you've got a MacBook Pro from 2012 or my iMac from 2012. I do think those uh, machines are capable of running Big Sur even though they're not um, supported. But older Macs can definitely uh, use this patcher which I will show you in today's video. It's just not going to be too fast. It's going to be very slow. So let's get started. Okay guys, so hopefully the microphone, because I am using the integrated mic, I don't know, I, I don't have any other mic, um, hopefully it's enough. So what you will need for today's video is an external hard drive or a 16 gigabyte USB. So I could not find my 16 gigabyte USB. I've got all of those, but they are all one gigabyte or four or eight. So yeah, that's unfortunate. I actually just got this MacBook and it's running macOS Catalina as you can see right there. Uh, it's a mid-2012 Mac, uh, hopefully you can see, I'm not good at this focusing stuff. Um, so yeah, it's not uh, it's not supported by macOS Big Sur, but I can think, I, I think it definitely, uh, it's, uh, it can definitely run it very very smooth. So uh, I'm gonna link the I'm gonna link this website down below. But what you have to do is go into this page. And by the way, I have I did not do this page. This is all thanks uh, to uh, another YouTube video which I found. I'm gonna link that video also down below because I don't know if this video is gonna be very good compared to the other video. But what you wanna do is go in this page and come down here and go uh, here and click in three releases and then you're gonna be taken to this page and now you have to go down and you should read if your uh, computer is compatible with this um, and then all you have to download here is the first one patched sir.dmg so we go ahead and download that one it's gonna go ahead and download over there and you just want to go into your download and double click it will verify it and it's gonna go ahead and open up you can uh, what you have to do is right click and click open and then click ok and in my case i have to go into system preferences security yeah i don't think this camera is very good at all i'm gonna go and click open anyway and then you go ahead and click open and there you go you can now quit uh, system preferences and we will have the application the patcher itself installed so now all we have to do is go ahead and click start okay so I'm recording right now while editing because for some reason the screen recording didn't record anything but basically now you just go through the uh, set up here you click released um, you don't want the beta uh, click update uh, and then you just wait for this to download so this is not a very detailed video as uh, you already you might already know so if you want a very uh, if you want a, a better video go to the video I, I told you at the beginning um, down below in my description okay so now if you do already have macOS uh, the installer for Big Sur you can go ahead and click in view other versions and then you can choose your file but I don't have it so downloading macOS 11.2 you go, you'll go ahead and click there and you wait uh, this will definitely take a while so be very patient uh, do not let your Mac go to sleep because that will stop 
the process and uh, I'll be back when it finishes. Another thing I forgot to mention is that you have to have macOS Catalina. So if you're trying to upgrade from your unsupported Mac 20, 2012 MacBook um, and you want to upgrade to macOS Big Sur but you are currently in for uh, let's just say macOS High Sierra this will not work. Uh, what you want to do now is you want to turn off, you want to shut down your Mac and you want to connect it so you can see, you can hear that it's charging there we go you want to shut down and once it's shut down, once it, once it is off you want to connect your hard drive and you want to you want to uh, you want to be sure that it's not gonna be moving or anything. Your hard drive, your USB or whatever you're using. And uh, as soon as you press the power button again, you want to hold on the option key. And you're gonna see the boot picker. So and then option. You can see there my speaker. The left one's not working, but yeah, just ignore that. And then if you keep holding the option key, you will see our boot picker. Uh, you're gonna be able to see, oh, there we go. You wanna choose the green one, not the red one. Um, and if this one, when you try to boot off that one, if um, we try to focus here, there we go. If, it, it, if you have a little circle with a cross, um, which means that Mac OS is not compatible, then you just want to try to open that one up and then turn it off and all that and do all that stuff. So we can go ahead and click uh, install Mac OS Big Sur, that one. So we can click enter with the trackpad, and that's what I was talking about. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this Mac off by holding the power button for 10 seconds. It's off now. Press it again and click option key once again. And when it turns on, you're gonna choose the red one, the red one. So. Um, this might not happen to you, uh, this just depends honestly, so yeah. Okay, there we go, let's try with the red one, let's see, and now, option, and let's just try this one more time. Um, we might have to do this again and again until this works, but uh, if that does happen to me, if this doesn't work, I'll just do it until... Oh, there we go. Now it's putting. I was talking too fast. Um, so, you have to wait until this loads, and then you'll see what we have to do. Okay, I'm back, and you can see there, it has loaded. So that's what you're going to see. Uh, you, don't, you do not want to mess with disk utilities. Um, you're not going to lose any information. This is... Um, so basically just replaces the um, in, our, in our case Mac OS Catalina and it replaces it with Mac OS Big Sur but it will not delete any of your data so don't worry about that you want to go straight to install Mac OS Big Sur continue Sorry for the background noise, but that's what you're gonna see. Um, basically, it's gonna turn off and then it's gonna boot up, and that's what you're gonna see. Just like a normal update, you have to wait. It might restart a few times, but after that, you're gonna be greeted with macOS Big Sur. Okay, guys, so uh, you can see that we have macOS Big Sur now. Uh, your MacBook will be extremely slow the first time. Uh, you wanna give it some time to optimize and after that it's gonna be just like before record this part but 
you don't have any uh, USB or um, or Wi-Fi. So, so what you want to do is um, I'm going to your lunch pad, and you're gonna find this somewhere here. Um, it's called patched, sir. So you open that up, and then in here you're gonna be able to see about this map. Go back to home, and you can also go to settings. And if your Mac is too slow, even after giving it some time, like even after one week or something, and it's still slow, then you should disable animations. Uh, but it's not necessary. Uh, I disabled it for when it was optimizing, but right now it's enabled and it works again. Uh, and it's very fast as you can see. So when you want to update, you want to go there. Uh, but right now we want to go into patched kecks. And that's what you what you need to fix um, your Wi-Fi and USB. So I already did this, so I won't do it. But you click continue, and you have to plug in your your hard drive or whatever you use to install the uh, to use this in, to the patcher that you use for the patcher. So you plug it in. Okay, so now you put your password in. Click continue. And you have to have your your hard drive connected, as I told you before. But uh, I don't have it right now. I already, already erased it. You can see I, I already did this. So basically, there's going to be a nice little progress bar here, and you just have to wait for it to load. It's going to take about 10 minutes, so be very patient. And after that, um, you should have Wi-Fi and. USB, um, but you will have to restart your MacBook after this is finished for the kecks to, uh, or however you want to call it, um, to take place to affect your MacBook. So after that, you can see here I have Wi Fi and I can't show you because I don't have a. Actually, maybe I can connect my phone here so you can see um, that it is working now. So if I connect my iPhone. be able to hear the there we go it's charging so you can see there my iPhone shows up so now we can quit that and yeah that's about it for today's video I'm editing uh, but yeah thank you for watching as you can see Mac OS Big Sur you can see right there isn't this so cool yes Mac OS Big Sur on a non-supported Mac Red the mid-2012 um, the storage is uh, about the same uh, so it doesn't take any more storage that, uh, than Macros Catalina already took about a gigabyte or two more um, so yeah that's about it thank you for watching if you liked the video don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon if you want more videos like this and please please if you know someone that might like this video and might find it useful don't forget to share the video also, if you want, you can comment down below any suggestions to make my video better and a part of the microphone because I already know my mic is not good at all. And yeah, I can't do anything about it right now. So yeah, that's about it for today's video. Um, I'm going to leave my Discord uh, server down below in the description too. Uh, so if you want to join, you want to talk, um, you can do that. So yeah, I'll see you there. Thank you for watching. Thank you.